Good morning, good morning. This is that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to share a word with you today coming from Mark chapter 11, verse 24. And I can't speak so loud, but Mark 11, 24, Jesus said that whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you should have them. Um, we know that when we pray, we shouldn't pray amiss. We shouldn't pray with wrong motives. We shouldn't pray for things that go against God's word, but it need to be according to his will. But the Lord Jesus said that whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive and you should have them. So whatever I pray for, I need to believe that it's already done before I see it manifested. Amen. But the question, the, what, what, the main thing I want to get to is we shouldn't worry about how it's going to come to pass. The how it's going to happen has nothing to do with us and that's something that I had to receive I had to understand like Monique you ask the Lord God for this you give him a request and you believe that it's already done so it's not your job to 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 be concerned about how he's going to do it and it's not my job to 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 try to help him get it done and as believers sometimes we feel like we got to be doing we got to be already start in motion doing something so God can come and and you know put a cherry on top and it don't work that way prime example look at Abraham God told Abraham and Sarah that they was gonna have a child and they was gonna be father and mother of, of many you know and uh, I guess time was going by Sarah wasn't getting pregnant so what did Sarah do she told Abraham you know go ahead and sleep you know say with Hagar you know so you can have a baby because you know she see that she was older and you know they ended up having Ishmael and you know and that goes with you know I'm saying people starting ministries uh, Ishmael Ministries, God didn't tell you to do that, but you went and did it on your own. God, you, you said, well, this man was my, this man gonna be my husband, and you went and did it on your own. Or this woman, um, this man said that this woman was gonna be his wife, or, you know, I, I, I really wanted this job, so I believe it's God. He, won't, he, he said he's gonna give me a job, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it, you know. We can't get outside of him. It's not our job to try to help God. And that's what Abraham and Sarah was doing. They was trying to help God. God didn't ask, for, ask you for your help. He just told you to believe what he said and wait for it, wait for it, you know, to manifest. So, and they ended up with Ishmael. And then, you know, I could go on about that, about that line with Ishmael. But the promised child we know was Isaac. So, wait on the Lord. Like I said, it's not your job to figure out how it's going to get done. And I had and until I accepted that, I stopped struggling, you know, because I know what God, the things God going to do for me. But, you know, I've been trying to do certain things, you know, and stop, just stop. So if you're doing it, stop. Just believe God's word. Continue to be obedient to the word of God. Continue to do what he called you to do and just wait on him. He'll bring the past. And, y'all, he don't need our help. He's God. <laughs> Amen. So thank you for watching this video. Apply it to your life. Everything I tell you, I, I, I tell myself and I got to do it myself. You know, so thanks for subscribing to my channel. And thanks, thank you for everybody who watched the Bible study on live last night. Um, I seen some comments saying that, that they, they're being blessed by these Bible studies. And please let me know in the comments whether or not you want me to live stream Empower on Thursdays. Empower is like those like believers who are a part of our ministry they want more teaching in the word you know just them coming on tuesday for bible study and sunday is not they want more it's not enough for them they want more so they want to come and they want to study the word of god because we have intercessory prayer on thursdays at seven o'clock but in power um is from six to seven so if you want me to live stream it that's a more in-depth bible study like it's more more in-depth bible study than it is on tuesday please let me know in the comments that you would like for me to live stream and power on thursdays at six o'clock please let me know you know um thank you for subscribing to my channel for those of you who are subscribed and just remember that the lord jesus christ he loves you have a blessed day